In the 2024 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers used one of their two selections in the second round on safety, Javon Bullard, out of Georgia at pick 58. But Javon Bullard is not only a safety. Actually, in 2022, Javon Bullard primarily played nickel cornerback for the Bulldogs defense, then transitioned into a safety role in 2023. And when you really start to dive down into Javon Bullard and the type of player he is and what this new Packers defense looks like under defensive coordinator Jeff Halfley, it starts to make a lot of sense. And that's why I believe that Javon Bullard is the perfect type of versatile player. I'm not even going to just call him a safety or just call him a nickel cornerback, a versatile defensive back for this new Packers defense. So in today's video, I'm going to showcase why Javon Bullard is exactly what this Packers defense needs. Before we dive into it, I want to give a big shout out to Sleeper for sponsoring today's video. Right now on Sleeper, when new users sign up with code BASS, B-A-S, Using the link down in the description, you'll get a first-time deposit match up to $100. Meaning, if you deposit $100, then you'd have $200 to play with. The NBA Finals are still ongoing, so make sure to go check out Sleeper, a daily fantasy sports app where you can choose higher or lower on any given stat across a multitude of sports. For example, in the NBA, you can choose higher or lower on a certain point value, rebound, assist, even double doubles. Make your picks, choose between two to eight players to get up to 100x payouts. And like I said, new users can get a first time deposit match up to $100 with the link down in the description and using code BASS. B -A -S. Again, thank you to Sleeper for sponsoring today's video. Supporting the sponsor is supporting the channel. All right, so now back into the video, and it is time to talk about one of my favorite draft selections by the Green Bay Packers in the 2024 draft, Javon Bullard. When you bring up his athletic profile, we see he scored an 8.25, and he's honestly not higher because of his size, being 5'10", 198 pounds. But Javon Bullard plays a lot bigger than his size shows here, consistently making big time tackles and big time hits. This guy is not afraid to come downhill and make a tackle. Bullard also showcases elite speed for the safety position, a 44740, a 257 20 yard split, and a 151 10 yard split, extremely fast off the line. And also great agility with a 3.97 shuttle and a seven second three coat. Now he doesn't have the greatest vertical at 33 inches. And when you bring up Javon Bullard's stats over the last three seasons we see he was a starter for the last two seasons where he saw 468 total snaps in 2022 and 491 total snaps in 2023 both of which he had great grades the last two seasons playing two different positions an 81.0 overall grade in 2022 an 80.7 overall grade in 2023 including an awesome 87.8 coverage grade at safety who's one of the best graded coverage safeties in all of college football last year last year as a safety Bullard made 38 tackles, only missed six of them, so a 10.9 missed tackle rate included 11 stops. He allowed 13 receptions for 107 yards. He didn't allow a single touchdown, had two interceptions, three pass breakups, and only allowed a pass rating of 35.3. The year before that, in 2022, Bullard played nickel cornerback. So we see here he also had four total pressures, three sacks. So they utilized him blitzing the passer, which is something I see Jeff Halfley doing in this defense. He had 29 tackles, even less missed, only three missed, so a 7.5 missed tackle rate and many more stops as he was closer to the line of scrimmage with 23 stops. He allowed 23 receptions for 137 yards, did allow two touchdowns, didn't have an interception, but had three pass breakups and allowed a quarterback rating of 89.7. And as I mentioned earlier, when you take a look at his alignment snap counts, we see last year he had 66 snaps in the box. So again, you can move him in the box if you need to. He's not afraid to make a tackle. 322 snaps at free safety, 98 in the slot. When you look the year before that in 2022, he was majority in the slot. 386 in the slot, only nine deep at safety, but 41 in the box. All right, so now I want to dive into some film from Javon Bullard, and I have some clips from 2022 where he played nickel cornerback, and also some clips from 2023 where he played safety. To really give you guys an idea of what to expect from Javon Bullard moving forward in this Packers defense. Now, year one is going to be an intriguing one for him because he could definitely start out as just a safety next to Xavier McKinney. Now, Anthony Johnson Jr. has been seeing starting snaps so far through OTAs um, next to Xavier McKinney, but they've also brought Javon Bullard in. 
He played some safety, but they moved him around a bunch. They played him in the nickel spot as well during last OTA's practice. So I think that's also going to be something they're going to do. Year one is kind of just find a spot for Javon Bullard where he can make plays. And that's exactly what he did at Georgia. So on this first play, we see Javon Bullard at the top of the screen in the slot at slot cornerback. Again, I'm going to start with all of the 2022 film. And on this clip, he's going to get a really nice edge pressure on quarterback Anthony Richardson of the Florida Gators as this is 2022, showcasing his physicality to get around the edge, beat the left tackle with just pure speed. Uh, so you see the tackle fall to the ground there, can't even really get hands on him, and then make a really nice tackle on a massive quarterback. Anthony Richardson is not an easy quarterback to bring down. So to see someone as small as Javon Bullard, you know, 5'10", 198 pounds, you know, and the ability to bring down Anthony Richardson here. Now, he does get the ball away, so this doesn't count as a sack, but it is, of course, a pressure and a good one at that. So this kind of showcases Javon Bullard's ability to come down into the nickel spot, you know, be near the line of scrimmage, whether that's at the nickel or, or, or box safety, and create pressure on a quarterback. Here's another clip from 2022, Georgia versus Oregon. We see, again, Javon Bullard at nickel cornerback at the top of the screen, showcasing his ability to diagnose a run, fight through a block, and make a tackle on a ball carrier here. So it's really impressive, again, to see Javon Bullard, who's an undersized defensive back. When you look at it and you look at his RAS score, everyone's going to look think, look and think, hey, he's undersized. Can he come down and make a tackle? And when you watch his film at Georgia, this guy, like I said, has, has no problems coming downhill, fighting through blocks, setting the edge, and making tackles on ball carriers here. It's, it's very impressive. You saw a lot of it in 2022 when he was more so around the line of scrimmage, but even in 2023 as a safety coming downhill and making a tackle. And here's another example of that, but here we see Javon Bullard in the box as a box safety. A really great job diagnosing this run and simply just getting in the running lane. Getting in the running lane, wrapping up this ball carrier. Same game as we saw the pressure on Anthony Richardson here. We see Javon Bullard's versatility. On the first play versus Florida, we see Javon Bullard coming around the edge as a nickel cornerback and pressuring Anthony Richardson. Then we see him here in the box as a box safety, diagnosing a run play like a linebacker and also making a tackle on a running back, getting by a blocker like a linebacker. In the next two clips, we have some coverage film from Javon Bullard from 2022. So we see him again here in the nickel uh, against the Florida Gators yet again. And it's going to be a coverage snap against Ricky Pearsall. And both of them are going to be. Ricky Pearsall just got selected in the first round of the 2024 NFL Draft. So to see both of these reps against a wide receiver as good as Ricky Pearsall, it's very, very impressive. So Javon Bullard, again, kind of in a man-to-man -man coverage look there. And Ricky Pearsall tries to sell him on a post corner here. So Javon Bullard obviously watching Pearsall's hips here. And Pearsall really doesn't do a great job of selling that post. So Javon Bullard just locked in on his hips, saw where he was going 100% of the way, gets his hands on him, and boxes him out the back of the end zone and does not allow a catch to happen. To me, that was clean coverage. There was no holding there. There was no pass interference. It was simply Javon Bullard pretty much running the route for Ricky Pearsall and not allowing a catch to happen. Here's another coverage snap, and I believe this was the next play or, or a couple plays after this. Same drive, but here we see Javon Bullard again in man coverage, but as a press slot cornerback little bit outside leverage here. So Javon Bullard doesn't want Pearsall to run a corner route here. And Pearsall needs to find a way to beat Javon Bullard to run his corner out. So Pearsall does a great job at this. You know, looking at this from a wide receiver standpoint, seeing what Pearsall does, does a quick release to jab to the outside, kind of resetting Bullard, then inside stemming. That's what you should do here if you need to run an outside route. You shouldn't work to the leverage of a cornerback. But Javon Bullard just is stuck to his hip. He is pretty much glued at the hip here in man coverage and nothing phases him. He is locked onto Ricky Pearsall and again, a ball ends up being thrown to him and another defender comes up, I believe, with that tipped interception there. But overall, just excellent coverage by Javon Bullard. And this is no random wide receiver. This is a first round wide receiver that got drafted in the same draft as Javon Bullard before Javon Bullard. And the both reps I saw from him against Ricky Pearsall were excellent reps here. And I love to see this also out of press man, because that's something that the Packers are going to be running more than we're used to seeing under Joe Barry. It's not all going to be press man. I think that's kind of overblown. It's not going to only be press man, um, but they are going to run it. And Javon Bullard can definitely do that out of the slot if you need him to. I really like his physical ability as well as man coverage ability for a guy that is 
undersized. So now we're moving to 2023 film. And again, he's in the nickel here. So he still played this sometimes in 2023. And again, he's going to be man coverage versus a slot receiver. It's going to be a basic fade route from this wide receiver. And Bullard does a good job at keeping contact with the wide receiver, you know, getting hands on him, but not holding, not pass interference. And maybe if the receiver played this ball better, he could have came up with the catch. But nonetheless, Javon Bullard um, does a good job at least being in the area and making this a, a, a much tougher catch than it could have been. Javon Bullard and man coverage here against a simple fade nine route uh, does a good job tracking this. Again, what I see from him in man coverage definitely depicts a cornerback or what a cornerback can do, a slot cornerback in man coverage. And that's why I believe he's just so versatile. You can put him back in safety. You can put him in the box. You can man him up against a slot receiver at the NFL level. And I think he is more than capable of doing so, as you see in the couple clips I showed you the last three here. Here's a clip against Missouri here to close out the game. I think Georgia's already up big, and Missouri's pretty much just trying to throw the ball down the field. We see Javon Bullard uh, deep at safety in a two-deep look here, and it's going to be basically a broken play. We see the top wide receivers running a deep dig, but then just tries to go with the flow of the play, and the quarterback overthrows the ball. But nonetheless, Javon Bullard comes up with the interception to close out this football game. Does a good job at just reading this quarterback here, playing deep enough to not allow any deep balls go over top of his head. And again, a horrible throw, but Javon Bullard, right place, right time, does a great job going up and getting that ball, getting both feet in, in bounds, which obviously is important now that he's in the NFL, and coming up with this football to end the game and say, hey, goodbye, this game's over. Here on this play, also against Missouri, uh, Javon Bullard started at safety, but then kind of came up into the slot position here with this motion, man. It's going to be a handoff left out of the pistol. And man, Javon Bullard, an excellent job at, at containing this edge here and forcing this runner outside and then also making the tackle. Here's another angle of it here. Again, he plays very physical. He goes up against, I believe, a tight end here. A pretty big mismatch when you look at it just on film. When you see this tight end against Javon Bullard, like size mismatch, this tight end should win this rep. This tight end should be able to block Javon Bullard. But Bullard does a good job, you know, holding leverage and containing that edge and forcing that runner outside and then making an excellent tackle on the sideline. I don't believe they really gained anything here. And again, Javon Bullard to diagnose this after the motion, come up to the line of scrimmage, contain the edge, make the tackle. The final clip I have is also against Florida, but in 2023 when the quarterback's Graham Mertz, not Anthony Richardson. And this is the last clip, and I'm leaving it as the last clip because uh, it just showcases his hit ability, his ability to come down and make a big hit as an undersized safety. And I know I, know I keep saying that, but I just kind of am burning that into people's brains because a lot of times people will look at Javon Bullard or just his profile, and, and they don't think this guy I can come up and make a hit and you see it here man you see him come down and absolutely level this wide receiver after a quick slant route here impressive wide receiver to hang on to the ball there I will commend him on that but Javon Bullard just read and react this you know it's I'm pretty sure man coverage on the outside by these cornerbacks cornerback gets beat so then Javon Bullard has to come downhill and lay a hit try to break this ball out um, honestly it should have worked but again this showcases Javon Bullard's ability to come downhill and deliver a crushing hit play with his hair on fire that's what Jeff Halfley likes to say and that's what they want out of their safeties and that exactly depicts Javon Bullard when you look at this draft class that the Packers made this year all these guys can come downhill and run and hit and that is exactly what Javon Bullard does here. So that's all the film I have from Javon Bullard uh, from 2022 to 2023. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a general outlook from when he played nickel corner in 2022 and then when he played safety in 2023. But we can't tie one position to Javon Bullard. It's not just, oh, this guy's a safety at the NFL level or this guy's a nickel corner at the NFL level. The truth is he can play pretty much anywhere. And that's the beauty of Javon Buller. He's so versatile, and we know how the Packers just are absolutely obsessed with any versatile player um, in this day and age. When it comes to offensive line, defensive line, linebackers, defensive backs, they love their versatile guys, and you can easily see why they selected him in the second round. So the year one outlook is still interesting for me because I, I kept saying it all offseason. You know, I'm not too comfortable with Keyshawn Nixon being our slot cornerback for the future. I think that needs to be upgraded, and I was so happy when I saw the draft selection of Javon Bullard because I think at the end of the day, he will be a massive upgrade at the nickel cornerback spot for the Green Bay Packers. Will that happen year one? We'll see. I think he'll get some snaps doing it, but I don't think, say, early on in the season, he's going to be a starting nickel cornerback ahead of Keyshawn Nixon. 
I think overall he's going to get snaps. It's going to be, you know, maybe some deep, maybe some in the box, maybe some in nickel, maybe some in dime when you need, you know, four cornerbacks out there and you want your inside guys to be Keyshawn Nixon and Javon Bullard. That's definitely an option as well. But I'm very interested to see how Jeff Halfley starts to use a player like Javon Bullard. And I think he just fits perfectly to what Jeff Halfley wants for this defense. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, what do you think Javon Bullard's outlook will be five years down the line? What do you think he'll be for this Packers defense in five years? I appreciate you guys coming by to the video. If you could, please leave a like down below. It supports the channel a ton. Also, go and subscribe if you haven't already to remain in the loop with everything Green Bay Packers throughout this offseason. I believe mandatory minicamp starts tomorrow. I think there's two days of practice. Not sure which ones are open to the media, but the one that is or the both that are, you'll find all updates and highlights here on this channel. So go down and click subscribe to not miss any of that. But I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And as always, go Pack Go.